All this stuff is wicked and it leads to hell. That's why Christ is going to come back and he's going to set everything straight. And he's going to separate the sheep from the goats. And that's why... And Pardon me? You're a clown and everybody's laughing. You call me a clown but you think you're a woman. You, but you think you're a woman though. Betul juga apa yang dikatakan oleh si penginjil ini bahwa apakah mereka berpikir sudah menjadi wanita. Sahabat sekalian, sepertinya benar deh prediksi tentang negeri barat yang akan menjadi awal mula pemusnahan bumi. Karena banyak perilaku manusianya yang mengundang murka Allah. Orang-orang ini tidak lagi beriman kepada Allah. Bahkan perkataan salah satu dari mereka bahwa Alkitablah yang justru mengajari mereka seperti itu. Nauzubillah. Bagi kalian yang ingin mengikuti info komentar kami, silahkan klik subscribe di bawah ini ya. Jika sudah, mari kita lanjutkan. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Jumpa lagi dengan Rosalba Official. Di sini kami punya seorang penginjil Kristen yang sedang berusaha mencoba untuk menyadarkan saudara-saudaranya yang sedang terinfeksi virus dosa manusia jadi-jadian. Kami akan memberi komentar selama dan di akhir video. Mari langsung saja ya kita simak alasan mereka mengapa sampai menjadi seperti itu. Um, you, you, every day you wake up, you play, you play dress up and masquerade. And I'm the clown. I'm, I'm in touch with reality. You think that you're a woman. You are confused. This is this is confusing. You need to repent. Put on some pants. And go watch a football game or something. Grow your beard out and get back to being a man. Because when you stand before God, He's going to judge you as a man. He's not going to judge you as however you identify. He's going to judge you by how you were created. You you need to read. We have no gender. You just said you're a woman. We have no gender in heaven. You can't say we yet. When you accept Christ, you can say we. We means everybody. You're not going to make it to heaven like this, though. You're not going to make it to heaven. No, transgender. Life. No, you're not. I'm in the land. There, there are no, there are no unrepented transgenders in the land's book of life. How would I know that? If I was a Christian, how would I know that? Benar juga ya, mereka itu Kristen dan mereka tahu, serta mereka juga mengatakan bahwa di surga itu tidak ada jenis kelamin. Apa benar ya, sahabat official? Di surga Kristen tidak ada jenis kelamin. Berikan komentarmu di bawah ini ya. Bagaimana dengan komentar LGBT yang lain? I'm here to tell you today, Desiree, that you can put your trust in Jesus. You can put your trust in Jesus, and He'll set you free. He'll set you free. He'll set you free, and He'll, and he'll put you back. He'll put you back. He'll, he'll make your mind back, and you'll be a man again. You'll be a man again. You can be a man again. You, no, that's not. Your, this is not your true self. This is not your true self. You are. You are who God says you are, and God says you're a man. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Why would God put the idea in a transgender person's head to be trans? Satan put that idea in your head. The devil. You guys are of Satan. The Bible. You guys are of the devil. You, you, um, just, just, huh? All evil comes from Satan, and and this is evil. evil. Being, being a lesbian is evil. Being a lesbian is evil. Where does it say it's evil? Where does it say it's evil? Hey, hey, where does it say it's evil? Right now, that's evil. Right now, that's evil. Anger. Anger is evil. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where does it say it's evil? 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 Where does it say
Muslims. Do you speak Hebrew? Even if you're no. Muslim, Jesus spoke Muslims. No. Then how can you tell me that you are Christian if Jesus spoke Hebrew and the Bible was written in Hebrew? Oh! The New Testament was written in Greek. Now ask me, do I study Greek? Do you study Greek? Yes. Okay, so now would you let now that we we got that the way? I don't study Hebrew, but I do study Greek. Okay, so now would you let now that we we got that the way? I don't study Hebrew, but I do study Greek. And and, and first first Corinthians says, what, let me ask you a question. Who taught you that that, that being gay wasn't a sin? The Bible. Okay, so show me chapter and verse that says that being gay is okay. Man cannot sleep with boys. In Corinthians, it says man cannot sleep with boys. Boys is a word for child. That is pedophilia. No, actually it says this. It says a man shall not lie with a man as he lies with a woman. Amen. As he lies with a woman. So it's not about, and, and then the word, the, the Hebrew word male, it's, it's, it's the same word that he uses twice. It doesn't, the, the word boy, the Hebrew word for boy and Hebrew word for male are two different words. And if you read that passage, it's the same word describing both things. And also, and also, listen, listen to this. This is what 1 Corinthians 6, this is Jesus, what Jesus says. Do, not, do you not know that unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of heaven? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, okay, nor the shepherds, let me ask you a um, will inherit the kingdom of heaven. So God says that these type of people will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. No, no clue. By, by Paul, an apostle, not Jesus. Oh! Jesus did not know the word homosexual. Paul created it. You're right, but but you know what it says right here? You know what Jesus, you know what the word Jesus did know? This is what I just said. Nor sodomites. What's a sodomite? Amen. 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 A sodomite is the same thing. A sodomite is a stronger word for homosexual. Amen. So in the Old Testament, they were actually called sodomites. So, so now because we, because now we have nuances, no sodomites is someone who sodomizes. Okay. Well, you're so, correct. The word, okay. Yes, yeah, yeah, walk away. The word sodomite, just like sodomite is someone who has sex with someone in their anus. That's what the word sodomite means. So, 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 and also, yes, being a lesbian is the same. Okay, Romans, Romans says this. Romans says a woman. Well, Romans, you need to repent. Angry lesbian. Angry lesbian. Angry lesbian. Angry lesbian. Angry lesbian. Angry lesbian. There goes angry lesbian. Calm down, Joe. Calm down, Joe. Calm down, Joe. You need to repent, Joe. You need to repent. You're wrong. You, you know what? You know why you're getting mad? Because you know that you're full of sin and you need to repent and you're evil. You're evil. That's why that's why Joe got that's why Joe got mad. Joe got mad because you know your lifestyle is an abomination. Your lifestyle is an abomination, Joe. And that's why you got upset. Your lifestyle is an abomination. Your your lifestyle is an abomination to God. Sahabat official, wanita lesbi ini hampir saja menang adu argumen dengan sang penginjil. Jika penginjil Kristen ini tidak diselamatkan dengan kisah peristiwa Nabi Lut yang kaumnya mengidap penyakit seperti itu, mencintai sesama jenis, bahkan berhubungan sesama jenis, kami rasa hal itu hal yang buruk untuk ditiru. Di negara Islam sangat dilarang keras hal demikian. Jika ada yang seperti itu sampai digelar festival LGBT, sudah pasti oknum banser turun tangan mengamankan mereka semua. Hmm, sungguh penyakit mental ini memang sangat berbahaya ya sahabat official Jadi jangan sekali-kali negara kita mendukung bendera pelangi Sebab jika mereka diberi jalan maka kehancuran akan datang Mau orang kafir atau orang beriman akan menanggung murka Tuhan Sebab perilaku seperti ini atau membiarkan perilaku seperti ini berkembang di masyarakat Sama saja kita sedang mengundang murka Allah Na'udzubillah summa na'udzubillah اللهم إني أسألك بأني أشهد أنك أنت الله لا إله إلا أنت أنت الأحد الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد